Brave Nimdi can you disobeys court order, address is pro Biafra crowd in his father's compound. Nimdi Kanyu has apparently flouted his court order. In a video, Nimdi Kanyu could be seen addressing the congregation. Kanyu is facing charges of treasonable felony at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Nimdi Kanyu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipaw, in an apparent flout of court order addressed a crowd of supporters, which were more than 10. The IPOB leader addressed them in his father's compound in Nabi Estate. The address appeared a violation of conditions set by Justice Binta Nyako when she granted Mr. Kanyu bail in April. Kanyu is facing charges of treasonable felony at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Nage. Com reports that Nnamdi Kanyu is facing charges of treasonable felony at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Kanyu is one of the leading voice in the call an independent Biafra Republic from the Nigerian state. Nage. Com also recalls that while granting him bail in April, Justice Nyako barred Kanyu from being in a crowd that exceeded 10 people. Kanyu was also barred from granting interviews or engage in rallies. However, in a 14 minutes, 22 seconds video seen by 14 minutes, 22 seconds video seen by Nage. Com, Kanyu was seen addressing the congregation of Biafran supporters on the occasion of the Shabbat, a Jewish religious program. Not minding what is happening, we remain Ipaw, is that correct? Crowd respond in chants of affirmation for Mr. Kanyu's question. This congregation here is very special to me. This is the very first observance of Shabbat in this very family. My joy knows no bounds because in prison I used to dream about this, I used to dream about keeping the Shabbat, he said. Going further, he called for the support of the sit-at-home call by IPOM. The police have condemned the May 30 shutdown of business by the group. On the 30th of May, we will shut this very place down and prepare for Biafra. The choice is theirs, if they will give us a date for the referendum. And if they fail to do that there will be no election in the southeast forever and ever, he said. Meanwhile, Ifni Ejiafer, Numdi Kanis lawyer, while reacting to his client's appearance in a group more than 10, told Premium Times that though he is yet to see the video, but being in a religious activity cannot be regarded as negation of court order. I have not seen the video, you are referring to, but that cannot be seen in the context you are taking it. The court itself recognized the fact that Kanyu is a religious man and that is why one of his sureties was required to be a religious leader from his Jewish religion. Remember that Kanyu is a Jew. The court, for example, cannot say that Kanyu should not go to church, or to a supermarket or any such similar places. That condition and a few others are part of what we are seeking to get the court to interpret, the council said. Meanwhile, the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipaw, faulted former president Aliska Obasanjo's call, urging the group to jettison its secessionist struggle. Obasanjo has in a recent statement urged pro-Biafra agitators to bury their agitation and fight for the national kick. In a press statement signed by its media and publicity secretary, Mr. Emma Powerful, IPOB said it was not interested in the so-called national cake. <laughs>